Guys, my name is uh, Shoe Butter. I'm on, this is, what is this? Is this is uh, week three of four. I told uh, Justin I was going to be doing four videos. So this is actually a bedroom that um, that I've sort of converted into a sneaker room. So I'm just going to go around, guys, and you know talk about some of the different shoes. And then I'm going to do a little bit different of a segment this time and look at a couple of the high school um the high school shoes that LeBron has put out for, I think it's St. Vincent, St. Mary's. Um, I always think it's St. Vincent, St. Mary's or St. Vincent, St. Michael's, but I think it's St. St. Vincent, St. Mary's. Um, so I've got a bunch of his high school shoes there, my big ass teddy bear. And, um, but we'll just start in the corner here and go through this guys. And you know, if there's anything in particular that you guys want me to stop and take a look at, um, you know, just let me know in the comment section below. And, if you've got time and if you're interested, come on over to my channel as well. It's Butter Movement where, uh, you know, I upload uh, a, a different little segment every single day and I've started doing vlogging and stuff. Not as good as the Just Win vlogs. He's, uh, you know, he's got that game on lockdown, but, uh, you know, we're trying. So, guys, I think this is a quite a rare LeBron sample. Um, I want to say that it has something to do with a video game. Now, I could be wrong, but... Uh, if my mind serves me correct, that is what it is. So this is a Carmelo, you know, in, a, in one of my uh, YouTube videos, I talked a little bit about um, the difference between players' editions and samples. And, you know, I guess I'll touch on that a little bit because, you know, a good friend of mine who, who I have a ton of respect for and is probably the, well, definitely in the top two best collectors in the world, in my opinion, is the best collector in the world, although I, I love to lay claim to that, uh, that uh, announcement myself, the perfect pair. You know, he did a great um, segment on the, the, the his player's editions. He's got some of the, you know, the rarest shoes in the world. And I call them samples. He calls them player's editions. And, and at the end of the day, guys, it's, you know, it's basically one and the same. I'm sure someone who worked at, uh, you know, Nike would tell you. So this is a, like a Carmelo PE. But on the tag, you'll see that it says promo. So uh, I'm sure there's some rhyme or reason in, in the, the way things are named and called. But... You'll see there it says, um, that's a sales CFW sample. Um, but, you know, for me, I just call them samples. So, you know, this is a really rare, I think there's three of these in the world. It's a, a Florida LeBron sample. I was lucky to get this pair in size 16. Um, it's one of the great things about being a big footer is I wear the same shoes as, the same size of shoe as LeBron. So I can buy a lot of his personal pairs or a lot of pairs that are very limited will obviously come in a size because they were made for him. So I, I, I am lucky in that sense that um, I can collect primarily only what I wear, which is which is pretty pretty awesome. I don't wear all of my shoes because I've got a fucking lot of them, but you know it's definitely uh, that's a Q Rich sample Q twenty three. Um, you know going through DB eight, um, DB six. I'll also be doing a. I was asked by one of our. This is a, a pretty rare Dunkman eleven. You'll see it's got the the. That sort of neon green, yellowy green grenade bottom there. It's uh, but I'll, I'll definitely be doing a a video of the full Dornbecker set. I have all of them. Um, now I was pointing this shoe out the other day, and someone said it was a Fred Jones sample. Very well could be, but I'm not a hundred percent certain. Um, going through here, we've got the UNCs. Boom, boom. Pretty lucky to have these. Um, another thing that I said about these shoes is one of the ways that you can tell if a collect if this was a player shoe or not is on the shoe itself you'll see I don't know if this one has it but the other one probably does uh, actually I can't show the the number on this one because the player still plays for the team they still works with the team but they'll have the number on the side I'll, I'll find another shoe that's got the number on the side and that's the number of the player and it's a pretty cool thing because it, it just proves that it was worn actually by one of the players on the team and the reason being is because after the games, when they're traveling to a different city or they're going from, you know, town to town, they have to dump the shoes. The, the ball boys will dump all the shoes in a big bag. And if he didn't have the numbers on it, it would be, you know, really difficult to be going through each shoe to find out, you know, what, what shoe belonged to each player. Here's the, I, I, I've covered a lot of this, the 29, Oregon 29. This is a, I'm going to do a, uh, a special on all of the different college shoes that I have. So there's a, a number five. So this was worn by one of the Kentucky Wildcat players that wore a number five. So you guys can hit the internet and then find out who actually owned this pair of shoes. And it's pretty cool because it gives you a little bit of the, uh, here's the Florida Gators. I can show you this one. I think that said number 81. 
or 31 at a, pro a point in time. Let's see if I've got it on the back of the shoe. No. Um, no. But anyway, it's just a little uh, fun fact that a lot of the, the player samples that were worn, actually let me pull that out because that's one of the St. Vincent's, um, they were worn by the players, will have their numbers on it. So a little fun fact for you guys. Um, let's see what else we've got. I've got this. And again, I'm not sure the exact history of this shoe, but uh, I'm sure someone in the comment section can let us know what this is. Um, and the 112. I always thought it was called the 112. I was one, I was one of those guys, but definitely I will be uh, be watching my my sneaker vocabulary to make sure I'm calling it the right thing. So guys, going over here now, we've got uh, a lot of rare. We've got the DB5s. There's a, uh, this is a Jared Jeffries. Jerry Jeffries is a, a great fisherman now, and I've been lucky. I bought a, quite a few of his shoes, and this is the, the Jordan 5. That's a sample pair that uh, he wore. It's pretty pretty beat up, but pretty great shoe. I've got three pairs of these, and I don't know if this will be the pair, but I've got one of the pairs with the, where the, the reverse sample tag tongue, so the tongue is different, but it's not those pair. I think it must be downstairs. Um, and this is a, I can't remember her name. It was one of those girls that, that is under the LeBron brand. Um, this is her shoe. So pretty cool. And, uh, Georgetown four, definitely in my top 10 favorite shoes. Fruity Pebbles would be in, where would I put this? I'd put this in a category of, I wish I hadn't bought this shoe, but I'm happy I've got it because I'll never wear it. It's quite a complicated shoe to get on and quite tight. So you know, it's one of those shoes that I'm, I'm happy as a collector to own it, but I, I would never wear it. So there's the Oregon Black. Really, really coveted. I've, I'm lucky that I've got two pairs of the green, but only one pair of the black so far. There's the Stewie 6. Got a few of them over in the corner there. Here's the Watch the Throne 11. Probably the hardest shoe to find in my collection was this one. Um, but... So I wanted to do something a bit different. So here's uh, a part of it. I wasn't able to get them all out, but here's a part of the, the, the so the Irish is his, his school, the St. Vincent's. I'm going to say it's St. Mary's. That's the 11. Pretty sure this is the 8. Pretty sure that's the 8. I know less about these shoes than most 10-year-olds do, but um, pretty dope shoes. This is a... Uh, I want to call this a soldier or something or other. Uh, not sure though. Got this bad boy right there. And then this is one of the only shoes I have in a size 11. And it was funny. It said number 15 <laughs> size 11. It's a size 15 and I bought it and boom, it comes in a size 11. And then I looked at the ad again and I went, ah, oh. it was a size 11. And the number 15, I guess, was the player's number that who wore the shoe. I'm not sure. But so anyways, I ended up with that. But then I bought the size uh, the size 16 to go with it. So had to had to have it after I had it in the collection. And then this, which is one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite um, LeBron shoes in my collection, is this one here. So guys, that's another room. Another day has gone by, and um, you know if you guys like this, if you like the content, feel free to come over to my channel and subscribe. We're doing great things every single day. I appreciate the time that you've given me. Again, I. Uh, I don't take your time for granted. It's uh, an absolute honor and an absolute pleasure to have shared this with you. If you guys want me to keep posting on the Just Win channel, I will absolutely do that. Um, until next time, though, which will be next week, I've got how many room rooms? I've got the staircase, and I've got downstairs. I've got three more rooms. So if you guys want me to keep doing videos like this, just comment in Just Win's comment section and let me know and just say, yeah, I keep going. So butter movement, guys. I love you all. God bless. Have a great day. You deserve it.